My name is Alison McMaster and I am an environmental monitor here at Site C. The Site C Dam project employs nearly 5,000 people, but only about 12% are women. I think I'm definitely aware of it, um, but I've considered it more to be uh, the relationships is what in, what's important, not necessarily whether, I don't see it as a gender thing, I see it as more, it more of building the proper relationships and that's what I found has made it really easy for me and less noticeable that I am, you know, a smaller, I am a minority on this site. Allison says five of the 13 members of her team are women. Armed with a degree in environmental studies from the University of Victoria, Allison seems perfectly suited for the role of environmental monitor. But it's not how she started at Site C at all. So I moved up to Fort St. John in 2017 and um, I was looking at opportunities here um, in the Peace region and Site C came up as, an, in, as a job that I, or a site that I would really was interested in working for. Um, at the time there wasn't any environmental positions open so I got my foot in the door by taking a temporary reception job. And then from there, um, I worked really hard and made it into the environment team as an environmental reporting. And then from there after that, about a year after that, I was moved into a field position as an environmental monitor. She spends her days at different spots around the site, ensuring the project adheres to extensive environmental protection measures. I get assigned certain areas and based off the risk, I'll choose which ones I want to go to that day. And it's basically just wandering around the areas, checking for environmental compliance. So checking secondary containments, checking waste, checking air quality, and we'll take a look at uh, erosion and sediment control. And in the breeding bird window, which is April to August, we'll take a look at equipment to make sure that there is no nesting birds. Given the location of the site, monitoring the environment also often means monitoring wildlife. We had a mama moose and a baby that ended up being separated at uh, gate B. The mom, or the mom was on the inside of the gate and the baby was on the outside. So what we ended up having to do is actually shut down the gate and remove all the people and remove all of the trucks out of the area so that the mom was comfortable enough to go around the fence through the gate to retrieve her baby. Clearly passionate about her work, Allison has yeah. found her fit in the field. And she's about to take another step continuing to gather information and now taking the information and compiling it into technical reports. You can put that in as a blooper reel, I guess. Travis Fortnum, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.